Kia internet. I've got a little project to do today. You might have seen in some of my previous videos, I have quite a few little chicken shaped pin cushions around. That's because they're really quick and easy to make and they look good. So I'm going to make another one of those. chicken you're of course going to need some fabric for its body. You'll also want a little scrap for its beak and a bit of felt for its comb. Cut two squares from your main fabric. I'm cutting five inch squares but you can make them as big or as small as you like. It just depends how big you want your pincushion to be. For the comb cut a strip of felt about an inch wide and two or three inches long and then cut a wavy line along one side in the shape of a comb. Don't worry if it doesn't look perfect. In real life, chicken's combs come in all shapes and sizes, so pretty much whatever you do, it'll look fine. Next, cut a smaller square from the beak fabric. I usually find about one and a half inches square is a good size. But if you're making a much bigger chicken, you might want to go up to two and a half inches. I'm going to fold that square into a prairie point. So fold it in half, then in half again, and there's your beak. You just need to give it a quick iron so it will hold its shape. Choose which corner of your square you want to be the chicken's head. Then you need to sandwich the bottom edge of the comb and the raw edge of the beak between the two squares with the right sides together. Next, I'll stitch a quarter inch seam along three sides of the square, but I'm going to leave a gap on the bottom edge for turning. Now take the unsewn side and open it up like a bag, and then fold it so the two seams match together in the centre. Then just stitch a quarter inch seam along that edge. That gives you this weird pyramid shape. Turn it right sides out and suddenly you've got a chicken. So all that's left to do now is stuff it, sew the opening closed and your chicken is finished. There was a final touch. I like to stick a couple of pins in to give it eyes. And there's your finished chicken. I think he looks quite cute. I hope you've enjoyed learning how to make a chicken. Don't forget to do all those nice internet-y things like liking and subscribing and I'll see you next time. Ka kite internet. Mm -hmm.